Yesterday, the National Crime Agency, alongside other law enforcement agencies, announced that they had taken control of Lockbit's servers, compromising their entire criminal enterprise. Lockbit, if you don't already know, is the world's most harmful cybercrime group who have been in operation for a number of years, and during that time they have conducted attacks using their sophisticated ransomware and targeted thousands of victims around the world, causing losses of billions of pounds, dollars and euros. So let's look at what exactly happened. On this channel we like to dive into different types of cyber threat intelligence and this week we're of course looking at Lockbit. So let's dive into what's happened over the last 48 hours. And it all started with the UK National Crime Agency, the NCA, on Tuesday confirming that they had obtained Lockbit's source code as well as a wealth of intelligence pertaining to its activities and their affiliates as part of a dedicated task force called Operation Kronos. And when looking into the data, they found that some of it belonged to the victims who had paid a ransom to them in the past, meaning that even when a ransom is paid, it's not 100% guaranteed that it will be deleted, no matter what you're promised, which is obviously not a complete shock given who you're already dealing with. Then, as part of the takedown, the authorities managed to find over 200 cryptocurrency accounts linked to the group and had them frozen immediately. Then, during other investigations, the NCA said it took control of the administration environment used by the affiliates and the public-facing leak site which you saw earlier on in the video, which is hosted on the dark web. And that was the place that initially alerted a lot of people to the activity happening by the authorities. Now, Lockbit brought out their affiliate Ransomware as a Service in 2019, in which encryptors are licensed to affiliates, which carry out the attacks in exchange for a cut of the ransomware proceeds. So this was a great action by the authorities to take this section down. Then the NCA went on to also dismantle 34 servers belonging to Lockbit affiliates and retrieved more than a thousand decryption keys from the servers. So, now that all the activities happened, what can we actually expect? Will Lockbit actually disappear or will they regroup and come back even stronger? Well, going off the facts that we have at the moment, Lockbit are currently locked out and there's nothing that they can do about that. The main spokesperson for the Lockbit operation, however, hasn't been arrested. However, his operation is crippled and his infrastructure is completely exposed. And based on past takedowns like this, it will have a serious impact on reputation and his ability to attract new affiliates in the future. So there's hope that this will do serious damage to the Lockbit operation going forwards. However, you do of course never know what's going to happen. So let me know what you think about the whole takedown of the Lockbit operation and whether you think they'll be back. If you enjoyed this video, you want to see more like this in the future, then please do leave a like. It massively helps the video out and tells me that you're enjoying this type of content.